proteins. Well, we all know the name, but what is it really? And why do we sometimes add extra protein to our food? Hmm, well, the fact that proteins are well known is actually not so strange. Protein is a component in all cells in all living organisms, including ourselves, of course. Protein is actually called the body's building blocks, as muscles, bones, and skin are made of protein and plays a role in virtually all chemical processes in the body's cells. Many of our proteins can be formed by the body itself. However, we need to ensure that protein is part of our food. Without protein, your body will feel fatigue as muscles are slowly broken down and weakened. I must have protein. Ah, that's better. The main sources of protein are meat, fish, eggs, peas, beans, and dairy products. And since we need many different kinds of protein, a balanced diet is the key to protein wealth. But this is by no means the whole story of proteins. In recent times, it has been discovered how to extract protein from, among other things, milk, soya beans, and meat raw materials, and to use them for a variety of useful purposes. An example is collagen, which is the protein that comes from, for instance, pork rind and bones. It is added to meat products to help improve the texture and make the meat juicy. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Collagen can also act as an emulsifier. That is, it is capable of binding water and fat, which is not otherwise possible. It makes it possible, for example, to reduce the fat content in salami without compromising the sausage's consistency. Milk protein plays a crucial role in a number of fitness products. And then there is also another thing, sports. Sportsmen worldwide, <laughs> including myself, use protein to more quickly rebuild the muscles after a rigorous day. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>